Good morning guys, welcome back to the Arctivate YouTube channel. My name is Trevor. Today I'm going to show you guys how to remove and replace your reservoir, your coolant reservoir for your C5 Corvette. This does work from 1997 to 2004. Yes, I know that there are different ones out there, however, however I have a 97 Corvette and I use a 2004 uh, res reservoir on it. So, you guys are able to do the same thing. Don't worry about it, shouldn't have any issues. Um, the Z06 may be a little different, however, process is going to be the same. Now, before we dive into things, I want to roll that intro, so let's do that real fast. that we're back I want to tell you guys that I do have to apologize my video of me removing it it got corrupt so I don't actually have that footage but it's really simple there's two nuts on the top closest to the passenger fender you loosen those I believe that they were a 10 millimeter you go ahead and pull those two nuts off set them off to the side and then you're gonna have three hose clamps the one on top and then two down on bottom and just like that your tank's going to come out and then the next scene that you're going to see will be me putting the new one in so that's the process tool wise um like i said i believe it's a 10 millimeter socket uh crescent wrench is what i use not a crescent wrench <laughs> a, a pair of channel locks or pliers and then that was i think that was really about it uh we had to get an o-ring for the sensor because our sensor uh, o-ring was completely bad and leaking so you might have one of those on hand too anyways now here's the process of putting them back together all right so now we have our new one here which is actually a newer c5 one and all we're going to do is take the old plug over here and we're just going to pull it out There we go. And that could be part of the problem. Now we have the old sensor put into the new tank, the reserve, and now it's time to put those hoses back on the bottom there. There we go. So just like that. That hose is clamped on there nice and tight right where it belongs. We're going to take this plug and plug it in. So I've actually got it on there. There we go. That's in there. And it's nice and snug. And then the last one for the lower hose. Put that on all the way nice and snug this is why I like <clears throat> why I like channel locks you can open them wider and get hose clamps put on nice and neat like that now we got all that done now we just got to set this puppy on these bolts just like that take our nuts and start screwing them on Last hose is one that's coming from the radiator. Wiggle that guy on there, and boom! There you go, nice and snug. Now that should all be waterproof, and now we just gotta tighten these bolts down, these nuts down. 
This is pure uh, antifreeze, not pre-mixed. So make sure that you mix it right. What we're gonna do is we know it's empty. So we're gonna fill this up with antifreeze and then we'll fill this up with water. Actually, it's already filled up with water. Yeah, that's definitely antifreeze. Smell it. Maybe this one's mixed because it's already open. Now once you get it filled to the max line, now we're ready to try and start the car <laughs> and i say try because well we may have a dead battery on our hands which is why there's this awesome extension cord running into the car Anyhow, that is how you swap out your engine coolant reservoir on any C5 Corvette. And I'm here to tell you that you can buy any year of tank because this is a 97 and we just bought a 2004 one. And it works perfect. It works fine. All you got to do is swap your sensor over. You're good to go. That saves you a little bit of money. But if you want, you can go ahead and buy this specific year. Do as you please. I'm just trying to help you save a little bit. And now we're gonna work on the battery because uh, I'm pretty sure this battery is uh, done for because it's been sitting on the charger for a month, I think, I think. So click that red subscribe button and if this video helped you out, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below, let us know how your process went, how, um, if you got any other tips we could use and share with anybody else that runs into the same problem. Thank you guys, have a great night, and God bless. Well, there we have it. This AV is alive. Don't ever give up, God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child, nothing but love is true. Just got it fixed in view. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ.